Right, okay, this is a, a tutorial to show you how to solder up the uh, MP3 amplifier, which is our Year 8 project. We're going to start off by uh, just looking at uh, tinning the iron. So I've got my iron here that I'm just going to clean the tip on the damp sponge there. And so that the iron doesn't burn itself out, I'm just going to tin, tin the end like that. Okay, you'll see the smoke coming off. Now the smoke is actually the flux burning off uh, and you need flux to make sure that the solder actually flows around the joint. Now we've actually lost the flux there, uh, so that solder, although it's being used to tin the iron, is actually useless now for soldering. So when you're soldering, what you mustn't do is to pile the solder onto the iron like that and you can see all the flux escaping and then use that solder to try and wipe onto your joint because it just won't work. So what I'm going to do is, uh, I'm just going to clean the iron again, I'm just going to tin it, pop it into the holder and I'm going to show you how to put two components on now. One is going to be a resistor which is non-polarity sensitive, in other words you can solder it either way around and the other component that I'm going to put onto the MP3 amp is a capacitor which is polarity sensitive which means that it does matter which way round it goes. So I'm going to start off with our 10k resistor. If I just take out my circuit board I know that the 10k resistor is R1 so I find R1 on the board and there it is and what we do is with the resistor we hold the resistor and we just pull our fingers through and we make a staple and I'm going to push that through the holes of R1 all the way through and then on the other side I'm just going to splay the legs out slightly to stop the resistor falling back out again. I'm going to pop it into the bulldog clip which holds it steady and now I'm ready to go. So I'm wearing my eye protection, that's the first thing we need to check. I'm just going to uh, clean and tin the iron again. You don't need to do this every time, just perhaps every four or five uh, solder joints that you do. Now, you hold the iron like a pencil so you're nice and comfortable, your hand is resting on the table, come in with the flat part of the iron and you're going to put it right in the corner so that you're heating up the pad which is that round silver pad on the circuit board and you're going to have it on the leg as well. So we're heating up both of them Solder iron in, solder in, iron out. And the sort of shape that we should have is like a little, uh, little fillet or like a little mountain really. So I'm going to do it on the other one. Iron in, solder, iron out. So iron goes in first and comes out last. So it's iron, solder in, solder out iron out. Once you've done that and you're happy with your solder joint, get your side cutters and just snip off the legs like so. Just turn it over to make sure that we're, we're okay, that's fine. Uh, the next component we're going to do is our large capacitor. Now you can see on there we've got a long leg and a short leg. The long leg is the positive. You'll also see on the side of the casing there is a minus sign which refers to the short leg which is obviously the, the minus leg. So we're going to turn our circuit board round and I know that this is uh, the capacitor there which is C6 and I've got positive signs along there and negative signs along there so I'm just going to make sure that the long leg goes into the positive, push it all the way down, turn it over and again we're just going to splay the legs slightly wider to stop the capacitor falling out. Pop it into our bulldog clip. Get our soldering iron, holding it like a pencil, nice and comfortable. Come in, heat up the pad, solder in, solder out, iron out. Just going to turn it round so I can get a better angle to come in, so I'm going to heat up the joint, solder in, solder out, iron out. What you mustn't do is to put so much solder that you bridge across. And let's see if I can do that deliberately. I'm just going to put lots of solder on there. 
there you go that's a bridge now to get rid of a bridge just get your iron and reheat the solder I can get in there and just try and wipe through like that which gets rid, rid of the bridge and finally with our side cutters snip them off okay and gradually what you're going to be doing is you're going to be populating the board populated populating the circuit board with our components what you must do though is to make sure just do a double check that you've got the right component in the right place and if you've got a component that's polarity sensitive like our capacitor here that you've got the positive and the negative leg the right way around okay that ends this tutorial